Welcome back to People. I'm Shirley Lin. My guest today is Isaac Hu, a busking juggler, a famous one here in Taipei. He really made his mark here in this big city. So, you um, so far that we've seen you performing on the streets are that I know of mm -hmm. are the seal wheel, which is a huge wheel, and you're actually inside this wheel. Yeah kind of holding on and, you know, turning, spinning around and all that kind of stuff. It's amazing. You have, must have, you know, incredible muscle, you know, strength to do that. And the other thing is um, performing with this crystal ball. You feel like the ball is just like up in the air, but, you know, it's magical. Anyway, how did you decide on these two performers? Well, probably you've done others, but I've seen you do the seal wheel. These um, are the ones I spent the most time working on the developing. Wheel? Yeah, the oh. wheel and the ball. Oh, okay. And before that, also the the fire. Yeah. I think because they're very, they're very simple things. They're kind of. I mean, they're very elemental kind of things. Like both the ball and the wheel, they're round. It's kind of the. I mean, it has no sides. It's as simple as you can be. You can turn these objects around in different ways, and they look the same. Uh huh. Well, and that's, it's very that's neat. Never thought of that way. I don't know. It's something that appeals to me. The yeah. uh, the simplicity of it. It's like before doors are round. I think it's because it's kind of optically appealing. I don't think it must have been very complicated making the doors round like that. Mm hmm. So this wheel, it has to be tailor-made to your height? Yes. Yeah. It's made of steel? It's made of um, steel, aluminum, and plastic. Oh, plastic. That's yeah. interesting. There's a thin coating of plastic, of PVC plastic on the outside. It's a um, uh, sacrificial coat. It creates, it's like a, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a tire, basically. Okay. It, it adds okay. friction. Otherwise, yeah. the, the wheel, the metal, would be grinding directly on the ground. Oh. And you can change it once in a while. Oh, that is so neat. What did you have to prepare yourself physically, you know, you know, in, uh, I don't know, psychologically, to do this thing? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know if people really understand the seal wheel. Can you explain better than me? I mean, what exactly um, you do? It looks like a very large hula hoop. Yeah. And uh, you, but it's the size of a man, mm -hmm. and you either you can roll around it like kind of like a cartwheel, or you can spin around. It's you can also think of it as a big coin. That's a right. Coin, yeah. Yeah, you spin a, the coin, and then eventually it kind of mm -hmm. flattens out. So, so that's what Isaac does with the inside the wheel. Yeah. Uh, so, what kind of things are obviously you had to like do workout a lot every day. To work yourself up to it? No, I just train. I do most of my training in the wheel. Sometimes I do other oh. other things. But I do mostly body weight kind of stuff.